Hi everybody, Patrick here from EscapeRoomElectronics.com and EngineeringShot.com. Today I'm going to show you how to put together a Big Buddy Talker. Currently on Kickstarter, the link is below. Big Buddy Talker has uh, more than a thousand words programmed onto it and you can teach your Arduino or Raspberry Pi to talk. So let me talk about the components. Custom PCB, four 470 ohm resistors, uh, a stereo uh, connector, uh, socket rather, uh, four chips with color-coded labelings, four 8-pin dip sockets, four M3 spacers, 12 millimeter, uh, one uh, 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitor, one uh, 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, four M3 screws, an 8-pin header, and uh, four 1 microfarad electrolytic capacitors. Now first things first, we're going to solder in our four resistors into these slots right here. And uh, there's no labelings on it, Just make sure, and there's no uh, polarity on resistors, so just make sure that there are no shorts once you're soldered into place. I'll show you what they look like uh, soldered in in just a second. Huzzah! Our four resistors are in place. No shorts on the back. Next, for the sake of simplicity, we've got one ceramic, 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitor, and it goes in this slot uh, right here. Now there's a little via to the right of it. Just make sure that when you're soldering in the bottom hole that you don't short to that via. But regardless, uh, you just, there's no polarity. Both leads are the same size. Plug it in right here. Make sure it's flush to the board and solder in uh, both leads making sure that there are no shorts. Okay, this is our single 100 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. You can read the value. Make sure that you're not soldering in one of your uh, one microfarad electrolytic capacitors. Uh, there's a long lead and a short lead. Long lead is positive, short lead is negative, and it goes in this slot right here. Now to the left, the left hole has a little plus sign above it. It's very hard to see, but you'll see it uh, when you receive your Big Buddy Talker kit in the mail. There's a little plus sign above the left hole. Make sure that the long lead goes in the left hole and the short lead goes in the right hole. If you reverse that and you power it up, you'll blow your capacitor. Very important. Double check this. As you can see, the stereo socket has four pins in the back and one pin in the front. And on the the um, silk screen, there is a one pin in the front, four in the back. Line them up and be very careful. Place it so it's flush to the board and then solder it into place. Okay, so we've got four one microfarad electrolytic capacitors and they all go here. Now you want to make sure that they are flush to the board and standing up straight. Uh, they all fit within a very small area and there's a little plus sign above each of the right side holes. You want to make sure the long lead goes in the right for all, for all four and the short lead goes in the left. Now I'll show you and something neat to look at uh, once I solder them all into place. There's a white stripe indicating the, the uh, negative side on the capacitors. It might be hard to see in the video but you're all of the white stripes on the top and on the left sides of the capacitors should be facing left from this perspective. That's your double check. You might notice on the left side of the uh, socket silk screen, there's a little notch. You see what I mean? A little notch right there on all four of them. There's a little notch on the actual uh, sockets themselves. Make sure that you place each of the four sockets flush to the board with the notch facing the left from this perspective. And that's going to help us to determine which way to place our chips. Our last solderable component is the 8-pin header, and it goes right here. Place it in, make sure it's flush to the board. Typically what I like to do is line it up, use one nail to keep it at 90 degrees, and then I'll dab a little bit of solder on one of the end pins. And then once it's dry, or cooled rather, I'll turn it around and I'll solder the rest of the pins together. Make sure there are no shorts. Next we'll place our chips in the sockets. Set your chips in this order, making sure that the notches on the left side of the chip uh, are facing left. There are little notches, you will see them uh, up close. Uh, place red in the upper left from this perspective, blue in the upper right, green in the lower left, and yellow in the lower right. Now the, well, one of the tricks that I use for this is, and I'm, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this or not, because I need to use two hands, uh, or, or let me just see if I can do this. Uh, what I do is I like to rest the bottom pins in first, Make sure that I can, you'll be able to feel that they're in. You can even see from the top. And then I like to massage the top pins in. Once all pins are in, push it down. Just be careful when doing this. You don't want to bend your chips. So uh, now I'll insert the rest of the chips. And lastly, we will place our standoffs on our big buddy talker. The holes for the M3 screws are just big enough to handle the screws themselves. So you'll likely need a flathead screwdriver. And you won't have to fight with it. Fight, fighting is the wrong word, but you'll have to turn it and screw it through uh, each of the four holes. And once that's done, what you can do 
is you can take one of these spacers and simply turn it on. Do that for all four corners and we will be done assembling our Big Buddy Talker. There we have it. There's your Big Buddy Talker. Uh, at this point you can remove the stickers if you'd like. Completely up to you. You're just ready to uh, plug in your Arduino and your stereo cable into your stereo system and you're off to the races. Uh, the next video will show you just how to do that. And uh, that will be the uh, video manual. Thank you for watching everyone.